everybody, it's Laura from Cheerbow Supply, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Cheerbow with a 3D center. Now, items that I'm using to make my bow are these cutouts that I've cut out of glitter vinyl. I am using 29 inches of 3 inch wide grill grain ribbon, I'm using a Teflon ironing cover sheet, ponytail holder. I'm using some glitter vinyl and a velvet center and some zip ties. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this white vinyl base vinyl onto the ribbon. And I usually like to start from the back and then flip it over for my second press. This helps me align the ribbon onto the vinyl and make sure that I don't have any uneven areas. So all you have to do is lay out the vinyl, put your ribbon carefully on top, put a Teflon sheet on top of that, and iron into place. When ironing on vinyl, you're going to want to use firm pressure and a hot iron and you generally want about 15 seconds in each section, but we're going to be pressing this bow multiple times to put the decals on it. So this part is really just to tack it down and to get it started adhered to the ribbon. So this gets it stuck, but if I were to try and pull this, it would definitely come off right now. But we will fix that for sure as we continue. So just continue to unroll and press into place. get to the end, just trim to length. Okay, now that we have the vinyl on the entire length of the ribbon, we're going to peel away this plastic carrier sheet that's on the back. And to do that, I'm going to carefully get it started and pull, and be careful that you're not going to pull the vinyl off the ribbon because this is really just tacked down right now. You can see I have a little area that's separated right here, and that's okay. We can just press that again. Any areas that may have pulled away a little, I just didn't tack that down well enough in that spot, so I will just cover it with the Teflon sheet again and press that one spot. Now I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and iron a crease in the center. That way I can align it on my mat to make sure that I place all the decals in the correct spot. You want to make sure that they will be visible when the bow is folded and won't get caught in some kind of a loop or fold or something. Okay. So now here are my pieces. It's going to say Home of the Free because of the Brave. So I'm going to have to do two presses on each loop. this first graphic in place so I just place it right on top of the base white glitter vinyl and press it. I'm just going to hold it in this one spot for about 10 seconds. Now I can 
can peel away this top sheet. And I'm going to put the second graphic right on top. And I can verify that it's going to be visible because it's within my green section on the cheerbo mat that I'm using. I just do the same thing, cover it with the Teflon sheet and press for about 10 to 15 seconds. away now. And now we're going to use the mat to place the other side. Make sure you hold it when you move your ribbon so it doesn't shift. Cover and press. going to place the other graphic right on top like we did on the other side. Just make sure it's centered, cover, and press. And this is why we just tacked down this white vinyl in the beginning because there were so many different presses on this bow that you don't want to overheat any areas and deactivate the adhesive or anything. This way we can press it as many times as we need to and don't need to worry about that. So this bow is going to look like this, and we're going to make a 3D center to go in the middle with these stars. I'm going to show you how we do that next. And this part, we definitely need the Teflon sheet. And what we're going to do is you're going to cut out two base pieces that you're going to iron together back to back. Now these are identical, so it really doesn't matter that one has to be mirrored, but if you were using a shape, uh, you would just want to make sure, like a different shape that wasn't symmetrical like this, you would want to make sure that you had mirror images of each other. So we're just going to press them back to back like this. There's a few different ways to make 3D centers like this. Sometimes I will adhere it to felt, and sometimes I'll just do the vinyl back to back like I'm doing on this one. And you can also put a piece of vinyl in between these two pieces that I'm ironing back to back. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I prefer this way because if you do the felt, then you do have to hand trim it, unless you have a felt shape that is cut out exactly to your vinyl shape. So I'm going to carefully peel that away and peel this off. And now you'll see we have our vinyl piece that has glitter on both sides. Now we're going to basically work from the bottom up. So I'm going to take this blue star and carefully center it, cover it, and press it again. Take this off. And my last piece is the silver star that I'm going to center on top. Now 
what I'm going to do is just peel away this top carrier sheet and I'm going to let this cool flat right now. It's very hot and pliable and I don't want it to curl so I'm just going to let it cool completely flat. Now I'm going to work on folding the bow. So I'm just going to place it on my mat the same way that I lined it up to make sure I got proper alignment for the sayings. And just to help me hold it in place, I'm going to use these double-sided adhesive discs. These are definitely not required when making a pure bow, but they certainly make it a lot easier. Basically, it's just super strong, commercial-grade double-sided tape. And it will prevent your ribbon from sliding or shifting while you fold it. just need to make sure you have it perfectly placed when you adhere it. And we can flip it over and this is where we're going to keep our eye on this crease here again. Just going to make sure it is straight along the back of the bow. Straight from this top point to this bottom point. As long as you ironed it straight and you place it straight, your loop should be nice and even. Now we're going to fold it back and forth a couple times to get the center crease. and then hold it in place with a zip tie. So now when you flip it over, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your loops are correct and your tail is straight or even and when you have it just the way you want it, you can tighten and trim the zip tie on the back. And I'm going to add my ponytail holder on the back. I know some people do prefer to put the ponytail holder inside the zip tie. A lot of times though, the tension from the zip tie can damage the ponytail holder and you just risk the ponytail holder breaking. But if you want to put it inside the zip tie, you can certainly go ahead and do that. Just be careful with how, how much you tug the zip tie, or the ponytail holder in the zip tie, I should say. Now I'm going to add this white glitter center. It's just glitter velvet. Wrap it around the center here. Okay, we've got that around the center, and I put it right around the back of the ponytail holder. Now I'm going to trim my tails. Make sure I get them even. And then I just glue this 3D center right to the middle of the bow. of hot glue and the 3D centers are really cool they give your bow a little pop and as you can see the 3D center really helps your bow stand out from the rest and they're super easy to make